In this example, I'm going to start with these two complex roots, positive 3i and negative 3i, and from them I'm going to write a quadratic function. So I know that any quadratic function, and it's quadratic because it's degree 2, will have two roots and they can be written x minus a and x minus b. Well that's nice because in our case I already know what the roots are. They're positive 3i and negative 3i. So I can write my function f of x as x minus 3i and x minus a negative 3i. So when I simplify this a little bit x minus 3i and x plus 3i and then let's go ahead and multiply these together. It's just the difference of squares. So it'll be x squared and then plus 9. So there's the function. It's quadratic and its roots are positive 3i and negative 3i.